Do not undertake the exercises illustrated in this video without prior medical advice. Welcome to the VON Smart Seniors Maintaining Active Roles Together exercise program. We're glad that you could join us today. Just a couple reminders before we get started. Make sure you find a safe place that you're able to exercise. Make sure that you have a sturdy chair that you can use during the exercises. Make sure that your footwear has proper foot support. Have some water nearby and make sure that you only do what you feel safe and comfortable to do. I hope you have fun. Hi, my name is Donna and I'll be teaching your class today. We are going to use TheraBands. So if you do not have a band, you can definitely do the exercises with us. Um, if you do have a band and you're digging it out, please make sure that you check it for any divots, rips, tears. We don't want it to snap and break and hurt you. So, uh, once you've got your band, just keep it handy. You might want to put it on the back of a chair or something like that. And we will begin. Okay. Please make sure to take this at your own pace. So we're marching, starting to warm up those muscles and bones and joints. Getting you moving. So do remember, please have a chair in front of you. I have moved mine off to the side for now. That way you can see what it is that I'm doing and what you're expected to try to do. So we'll stop those marches. We're gonna inhale, reach those arms up nice and high. Exhale, those arms lower down. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, arms lower. And again, we inhale, those arms reach up high. Exhale, those arms lower down. We're gonna shrug and drop those shoulders. Drop those shoulders down. We're gonna turn the head and look over one shoulder. And we turn that head to look the opposite direction. Turning the head once again, looking over that first shoulder. And we'll turn that head to look the other way. Eyes looking center. We're gonna roll those shoulders around and back and down, hitting each and every position. Forward, up, back, down. Now stopping, let's reverse those circles, rolling the opposite way. Drop those shoulders down. We're gonna take the hands in front of the heart. Inhale, open those arms nice and wide, and on the exhale, those arms close in. Inhale, fill up those lungs. Exhale, arms close in. Once again, we inhale, and on the exhale, those arms close in. Drop those elbows. We're gonna squeeze and stretch those fingers. So really, really stretch those fingers. Now hold that stretch. We're gonna circle the wrists and change direction of that circle. Dropping those hands down. Let's find our chair. So sitting down, we're nice and tall in our chair. You don't have to relax against the back of that seat. Belly button's in, that's your posture right there. We're going to take one foot at a time, bringing it out to the side. So we're sitting as tall as we can, moving the knee out. And one more on each side. Leave those feet in the center. We're going to press those heels up and then lift the toes. So we're pressing up as high as we can and lifting up. almost rolling through the foot. Now dropping those feet down, we're gonna take one leg and extend it and switch to the other one. As we lift that leg up, remember not to slouch back in that chair, but do that nice fight to stay up nice and tall in your chair. Now extend that first foot out. We're gonna circle the ankle. Now change direction of that circle. Let's go around the other direction. And place that foot down. We'll switch to the other leg and extend that leg, circling the ankle. 
and change direction of that circle. Placing that foot down, we'll stand up once again behind that chair. So again, if you need that chair for balance, please make sure that it stays in front of you. I'm just going to move my chair off to the side so we can begin our marches. As we're marching now, we're lifting those knees up as high as we can. So just in front of the hip is good. So we're going to drop those feet down and swing the arms nice and long, like you're trying to touch the wall in front of you and the wall behind you all at the same time. So that front arm does not have to go too high. You can get a little knee bop in there if you like. We're going to drop those arms down, bend those elbows. Let's run. So we're running as fast as we can. And drop those arms down. So again, those knees lift up nice and high. If you want to get that arm swing in with it now, go right ahead. If not, you can stop those marches and then swing the arms. So dropping arms, dropping legs, bend the elbows, let's run. And relax that down. Good, we're gonna do our heel tap forward. Toes are pulling up, tapping that heel on the floor. Now we're gonna change this heel tap. It's gonna go out to the side. So notice that the arms want to swing a little bit on their own. Let them go. That's your body staying in balance. And now let's take this tap and change it again. Toes are tapping forward. Staying as tall as you can on your supporting leg. Breathing is nice and easy. Let's take this tap out to the side. We got one more on each side, then we're gonna change it again. So we're gonna go to the back. Reaching that leg back, hold that belly button in. What that's gonna do is support your low back. So we're just tapping that foot back. And let's march the feet. Back to our marches. Good, let's march those feet out wide. March those feet in together. And again, marching wide. Marching in. Marching wide. Come in. Go out. Come in. Go out. Come in go out. So out, out, in, in. Or in, in, out, out. And one more. Hold that march in the center. Nice job. All right. So we're going to go to our heel tap once again. So the heel taps forward. Now we're going to add some arms. So remember, if you just want to do the arms, or if you just want to do the legs, that's your decision. Go ahead and do that. If you want to sit down in that chair that's in front of you, go right ahead. So we're going to tap the heel out to the side. We're going to add a little push side to side. Same arm, same leg, going in the same direction. So we got two more. One more. Good, let's take those toes and tap them to the front. Now we're gonna still push. So we're pressing those hands forward. And we can take one arm at a time. All right, we're gonna drop those arms down, tapping the toe to the side. 
We're gonna lift one arm up, side to side. Once again, it's same arm, same leg. Thumb is up. Let's change the angle of the hand. So now we'll have the palm of the hand reaching up. And we're gonna change it. So we're gonna drop those arms. We're gonna tap the toe behind us. Now we're gonna lift one arm forward. It might be the opposite arm as leg that you're using, or it might be the same arm as leg. Now, if you're hanging on to the chair, you can definitely do one arm at a time, or we can do two arms at a time. Holding that belly button tight to support that lower back. We've got two more. One more on each side. We're gonna drop those arms. Come back to the march. Good. All right, march those feet out wide. March them together. March backwards. March forward. March out wide. March together. Marching backwards. Marching forward. One more time, let's march out wide. March together. March backwards. Marching forward. Nice job. March in place. We're gonna inhale nice and tall. Exhale down. Inhale tall. Exhale down. One more time, let's inhale. Exhale, those arms lower down. Roll the shoulders around and back and down. You can slow those marches down. And stop those marches. Change direction of those shoulder rolls. Drop those shoulders down. Make sure you take a nice deep breath. Let's look over one shoulder. Looking center, let's look over the other shoulder. Looking center, again, let's turn, look over the other shoulder. And look center, one more time, let's turn and look. Eyes look center, shrug those shoulders. Shrug and let them drop. What's the weather like today? I don't know. Good, drop those shoulders down. So the hands are in front of the heart, let's inhale, open those arms nice and wide. Exhale, those arms close in. Again, we inhale, those arms open. Exhale, arms close in. One more time, let's inhale. And on the exhale, bring those arms in, drop those elbows. We're gonna squeeze and stretch those fingers. Now, stretching those fingers, let's tap each finger individually to the thumb. Now, stretching those fingers, let's circle the wrist. And we'll change direction of those circles. And we'll drop those arms down. Good, find your chair. We're going to once again sit down in that chair. So sitting nice and tall, we wanna be close to the middle of the chair, maybe slightly forward. Drop the shoulders down. Good, we're gonna put those feet flat on the floor. We're gonna lift the toes of the right foot and the heel of the left foot. And we're gonna switch, and we switch, and switch, and switch, and switch, and switch. Now, if you can get this going, we're gonna speed it up a little bit. Good. And if you're happy here, stay here. If you wanna add a little bit to challenge yourself, we can add shoulder shrug, one at a time. This is just getting that coordination muscle going. It's a whole new muscle. Drop those shoulders down, shake it all out. Good, we're gonna take our first leg, we're gonna extend and bend that leg. Now extending that leg all the way out, we're gonna point those toes across the room. Then pull them back towards you, point those toes. Pull them back, point the toes, pull them back. We're gonna place that foot down, we're gonna do the other leg. We start with that big knee joint. Extend and bend that leg. Think of those muscles in the thighs. They tighten, they pull that leg up. Just like a string pulling up the front of that leg. 
we got two more. Now we extend that leg out. Again, we're gonna point those toes. Pull them back towards you. Point those toes. Pull them back. One more time. We point and we pull them back. Place that foot down. Nicely done. All right, so let's make sure that we are at the edge of the seat. I don't want you leaning against the back of the chair. One foot is in front of each hip, so I don't want those feet tight, tight together. We're gonna do our stand and sits. So you're gonna dig the weight through the heel of the foot, thinking about a string pulling you right up tall. We're gonna stand all the way up. Then we're gonna sit down. So I want you to think about pushing yourself up and tall using those big glute muscles that are behind you. So that's what they're used for, not just to sit on. If you wanna cross your hands in front of the chest, you go right ahead. If you feel the weight in the knees, that means that you've let your weight go onto your toes. Try to keep it primarily towards the heel of the foot. Good, we got three more to do here. Sitting those hips back and down, keep that chest high. We got two more. Reaching back and down. We got one more, standing up and tall. And then we sit down. Nicely done. You're gonna reach forward, grab those oars in your boat and squeeze the elbows back. So we're thinking about squeezing the shoulder blades towards the spine. It's gonna strengthen the back. That's your posture muscles. We've got three more, two more, and one more. So dropping those elbows down, we're gonna go boxing. So we're extending one arm straight out. Good, keeping those hands up in front of the chin, in front of the nose, gotta protect the face if you're boxing. One more each side, and we drop those arms down. Find your band. Mine's on the back of my chair. All right, so we're gonna take this band, popping it on the floor. I'm gonna put one foot onto that band. I'm gonna make sure there's even band, right to left. Now, sitting up tall, my belly button is in. I lift the knee towards my chest. Keep the hands there, don't let them move. Extending down through the heel of the foot, we lift and push down. Lift and push down. So the knee's coming towards the chest, we're tall through that spine. The belly button, that helps. That's posture as well. Shoulders are back and those hands are not moving. Good, we just do one more. And we'll bring that in. We'll switch to the other leg. Sitting tall through that spine once again, belly's tight. There's equal band on each side of the leg. We lift that knee towards the chest, push the heel towards the floor. Lift and press. So remember, if you do not have a band, you can still be doing this exercise and you'll still be getting some work. Legs are heavy. I hope you're all starting to feel a little bit warmer right about now. You've got two more. And one more. Nice job. So now let's put two hands, sorry, two feet on the band. We're still holding on with our two hands. And we're gonna hold on. There's a little bit of tightness in that band. We've got those hands resting beside the knee. We're tall through the spine and you're gonna slide that band right back along the seam of the pants, right to the hip. As we're doing that, we're squeezing those shoulder blades back. So if I wanna make this a little more difficult, a little more work, I'm just shortening the band, but I'm still concentrating on the muscles in the back. And there's a little hold there. Hold and release forward. And again, squeeze back, hold, and release. Squeeze back and hold and release. One more time, squeezing it back. Hold now, hold it, hold it for four, for three, 
for two, for one, relax it forward. Good, now we're gonna take that band over the knees and my left hand's gonna hold on to the band that's on my right, my right hand holds on to the other side. So now I'm gonna step and tap one foot at a time, side to side. I'm still sitting tall. Yeah, this is working my hips. So if you do have any hip issues and this is too much, feel free to do this without the band. Good, we're gonna do three more on each side. Two more on each side. And we got one more on each side. Nice job. All right, let's uncross those legs, uncross the band. So holding on to the band again, we've got the palms facing up. We're tall in our chair, elbows tight to the body. We're gonna curl for two counts, lower for two counts. Once again, if I wanna work harder, I shorten that band. If I find this is too much work, then I lengthen the band. So lots of options. If I don't want the band, I can get rid of it. Elbows stay beside the body. They're not moving away. They're not popping behind the body. Let's do two more like this. We've got two. And we've got one more. Good. Let's do one arm each by itself. Up, lower. Up, lower. Up, lower. Up. Lower, up, lower, up, lower, up, lower. Two more each side. One more each side. Beautiful, beautiful. So let's step off of this band. Please don't forget to get yourself a sip of water. So we're gonna stand up going behind the chair once again. Don't put that band too far away. Again, I'm gonna move my chair out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. And if I fall over, don't fall over as well. Okay, so we're just gonna lift one leg to the side, other leg to the side. Lift and lift. So if I've got that chair, I might rest my fingertips on the chair in front of me. So I'm trying to stay as tall as I can through the body. That leg lifts side. If my leg gets too heavy, I can tap it on the floor. We just did some hip work. This is the same thing, right? So we're gonna take the right leg only four times by itself. Four, three, two, and let's switch over to the other leg. We're going four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, let's find that band again. So holding on to the band, it's gonna be about shoulder distance apart. No wider, unless I'm not having a good day. So I'm gonna take my left hand and put it on my right shoulder. So I'm trapping the band onto that shoulder. My elbow stays tight to the body, and I'm going to extend my arms straight down towards the floor. And then I bend it up, my elbow stays there. So it's a press and bend. I'm working through the back of the arm, doing my triceps. Guess what? Belly button. Pull it in towards the spine. We've got four more to do. Let's do four. Three. Two. And one. Let's switch over to the other side. So you don't have to move those hands. We're gonna take it to the other side, elbows tight to the body. Now this arm extends all the way down. So I'll show you from the side. I'm extending down, pulling straight down. If I wanna make this a little more intense, yeah, I shorten that band up and I extend it down. Knees are soft, tummy's tight, shoulders are down. Lots to think about. Keep it going. We got four more. Three more. Two more. And we got one more. Good. So we're going to hold these band out once again. So I'm going to keep one hand forward. Thumbs are up. 
Now I'm going to keep that hand where it is, the other arm. I just pull the elbow back and bring it forward again. So I'm pulling back and letting it come forward. You got four, three, two, one more. Good. Now those hands are forward, other side, pulling back. Seven, six, five, four, keep the shoulders down, keep that chest nice and proud, nothing moves but that arm. Two more, one more, let's do four more on the other side. We've got four, three, two, one, change sides again, we got four, Three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, let's put that down. You can shake out those shoulders. Now, we're going to bend the knee, squeezing the heel towards the bum. Squeeze it in, squeeze it in. I'll show you from the side. I'm pointing my knee towards the floor. My fingertips are resting on the back of the chair. Flex that foot so we don't have any pretty pointed toes. In. That's it. Now we're going to do one leg four times. Ready? We're going to do four, three, two, one. Let's switch to the other side. We've got four, three, two, and one. Now, rising up onto the toes, lower down, and again, press up. Now hold here for four, three, two, lower down, pressing up, hold for four, three, two, lower down, pressing up, and hold, three, two, let's do two more like this, press up, two, one, lower down, one more, we press up, hold, and lower down, tap the toes. Just tap your toes. And drop those toes down, good. So we're just gonna go into a little balance work. So we're gonna step tap from one side to the other. You might have that chair in front of you for balance or to the side, that works as well. Now as we're stepping side to side, I want you to think of getting in and out of the bathtub so it's a high step. It's a big high step getting over and a big high step getting out. Good, getting in and getting out. One more time, we'll get in. One more time, getting out. All right. Let's pretend we're going to the gym. We're gonna stand on our balance beam. So we've got one foot in front, one foot is behind, but the big toe of the back foot is touching the heel of that front foot. We're pulling up nice and tall through those legs. Belly buttons in, because that's your balance. We're long and tall through the spine, as if there's a string pulling right out through the top of the head. Lifting one or both hands off of that chair. Let's switch legs and put the other foot in front. So we've got that other foot in front. We're going to press those feet firmly down through the floor. The same weight is on the right as the left foot. And we're pulling up tall using those leg muscles, belly button. Shoulders are dropped and relaxed and the eyes are looking forward. Don't let them look down because we always go where we're looking. You don't want to go there if you're looking at the floor. And let's switch one more time. Let's do that other foot in front. So we've got one foot in front, one foot behind us. Good. So now we're going to take one hand and reach it forward. Take that same arm out to the side. One more time, let's take that hand to the front. And we'll take that arm out to the side. Dropping that arm down, we'll switch. Other legs in front. 
Pressing those feet firmly down through the floor. We're nice and tall through the spine. Belly button is tight. Drop those shoulders down. Lengthening through that spine. And now we're gonna take the other arm and reach it forward. And we'll bring it out to the side. Again, it reaches forward. And now out to the side. Dropping that arm down. All right, we're gonna stand on one foot. So we're gonna push one foot down through the floor. Think of growing nice and tall on that leg. The other foot lifts just off of the floor. Now those abdominals are pulled in. Shoulders are dropped. The eyes are looking forward to the wall, straight across the room. Breathing is nice and deep. And we're gonna place that foot down. Good job. Let's switch to the other leg. Pushing that foot down. We're gonna lift up the leg you were just balancing on. Now it does not matter how high you lift that leg. Once that foot's off the floor, it's off the floor. And you're in balance. Good, so we're still breathing. All those bones are stacked from foot to knee to hip to shoulder. Everything nice and tall through the body. Now placing that foot down, let's do that one more time. Let's push that first foot down through the floor, lifting the other foot off of the floor. Now this time, just a feather light tap. We're gonna tap the foot forward and we're gonna tap it to the side and we're gonna tap it to the back. Nothing moves anywhere else. One more time, let's tap it forward, let's tap it side and we'll tap it to the back. Good, place that foot down and we'll switch to the other side. So the other leg, nice and firm through the floor. We lift up that working leg. Make sure you're in balance before you start moving. Now we tap it to the front and we tap it to the side and we tap it behind. And one more time, we tap it to the front and we tap it to the side and we tap it to the back. Nice job, place it down, shake it out. Get yourself another sip of water, please. We're gonna sit down. Nice job, everybody. All right, so we're sitting. We're just gonna roll those shoulders around and back and down. Ah, nice deep breathing in and up. Exhale, those arms slower down. One more time, inhale up. Exhale, those arms drop down. Good, let's nod the head gently, yes. And remember not to look all the way up. You don't wanna look right above you. You're just gonna look in front of you to the ceiling. Thinking about growing taller, stopping with the head center. Shake your head, no, looking over each shoulder. And those eyes looking center. Shoulders, we're gonna lift one, let it drop, other one, let it drop, lift lower, lift. Now both shoulders are dropped down. We're going to take one ear and drop it straight over towards that shoulder. So the ear to the shoulder, but we're stretching the opposite side of the neck. Nice deep breathing. Then we're going to turn the head down. So we're looking towards that shoulder. Turning that ear back towards the shoulder, lift that head up and over the spine. Let's do the other side. Dropping that ear down, we're long through that spine, shoulders are dropped. This should feel good. Gentle pull, gentle, gentle. Nothing too harsh, nothing too sharp. And just turning that head so the nose is pointing towards the floor. 
So we should be hitting some slightly different muscles here. Shoulders drop. Don't let those shoulders go with the head, with the eyes. Keep them steady, right in the center. And that head's going to turn. Once again, the ear towards the shoulder. We lift that head up. Again, let's just roll those shoulders around and back and down. All right, we're going to take a first arm, extend it all the way out. You're going to tap yourself on the shoulder. We're going to take that elbow and lift it up. Now, I might use this hand to push that arm back a little bit. I'm looking for that nice stretch down the back of the arm. I might want to pull. I might not want to use that hand at all. So again, there's many options. You need to do what's going to work for you. And we're going to drop that arm all the way down. Let's switch to the other side. Palm is up. Tap that shoulder. And again, we press back. So each stretch should last about 15 seconds. So that's why we slowed right down. Watch that posture doesn't fall apart. We want to still stay nice and tall through the spine. Breathing nice and deep. Dropping that arm down. All right, fingertips touch. We're going to push forward. Think about the back getting a little wider. Shoulders are still away from the ears. Round the shoulders, turn the hands, push again. This time pulling those hands open a little bit. Lift those hands over, let them separate. The palms of the hand are looking at each other. We're going to bend those elbows, keep those elbows nice and high, shoulder height. As we pull back, I want you to feel like a football goal post. Staying as tall as you can in the chair, belly buttons in, and breathing is super nice and deep. Extend those arms out, turn the thumbs down, pull back. Again, we inhale, feel that stretch through the chest and the shoulders drop the arms. Let's take one leg, we're going to pop the heel on the floor, those toes are pulling up towards the sky. So we're sitting up nice and tall in the chair, weight is on our bent leg, supporting leg. We're going to look forward, so you're going to look past that toe, never mind looking at the shoe, at your toe, I know that you know what your shoes look like, you saw them when you put them on. Think about lifting your tailbone towards the back of the chair. Now, sitting up nice and tall in that chair, we'll just slide that leg in and do the other side. So we've got the heel on the floor, those toes are lifted, and we're long through the spine. Just leaning forward once again, stretching the back of that leg. You're going to feel it wherever you're tight. Think about those toes pulling up. Don't let them fall down. And keep your spine as long as you can. Tailbone's what's pulling back. We're going to sit up nice and tall. Now from here, you're just going to push those toes towards the floor, stretching the top of the foot, stretching that ankle, maybe through the shin. Slide that leg in. Let's do the other leg. Legs out. Point those toes towards the floor. We're thinking posture. We're pulling tall. And we're going to pull that leg in. Good. So remembering how to stand up through the heel of the foot, belly's tight, one foot in front of each hip. You're going to stand all the way tall and go behind the chair. 
I'm just going to turn my chair to the side so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm standing tall, my fingertips resting just for balance. I drop one foot back, 10 toes are looking the same direction. Drop that back heel, the front knee is softly bent. Push the hips forward, so we're stretching down that whole leg. Tummy's tight, that chair is just for balance. And we'll switch to the other leg. Step that foot in, other leg is back. We drop the heel towards the floor, softly bend that front knee, push those hips forward. So it's very important as you press those hips forward that you keep that belly button pulling in. That way you won't arch the back. That's when your back hurts a few hours after you've exercised and you don't know what you did. That's because you forgot about your belly button. So we're pressing the hips forward, dropping the heel down, and we're breathing. Good, bring that foot in. All right, let's inhale again, reaching up and tall. Exhale, those arms lower down. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale down. Inhale up. On the exhale, let those arms open wide. We're gonna cross them in front. Take a look, remember which arm is on top. We're gonna open wide and give yourself another hug. Other arm is on top. And while you're there, give yourself a pat on the back for a job well done. Good job today. I hope you enjoyed your workout. Support for the VON Smart Exercise program has been provided by the North Simcoe Muskoka Local Health Integration Network and the Government of Ontario.